Hello, this video is for those who'd like to know if the person they've got a crush on has mutual feelings or not. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they're feeling the same way or not about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread, we'll see if there is a potential between you and them. Or, if their heart is with someone else, then in the second spread, we'll try to see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please subscribe and donate to support this channel. Let's begin. Hi Leo, let's see what uh, the person you are in love with or have a crush on think about you. What's on their mind about you? We have the Ten of Swords, the Sun, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Um, I think that you are already, you already know this person obviously, you know them very well and uh, you know them so well to the point that the two of you had some kind of a breakup in the past. Right? <laughs> That's what the Ten of Swords here represents. The Ten of Swords is an abrupt ending. I don't know what happened to the two of you in the past, but something definitely came to an end. And uh, this person right now is in a state of mind where they are trying to decide whether they want to uh, reach out to you with a reconciliation offer or not. This is what they're doing right now. But most likely they will reach out to you. We have the Knight of Swords here. This is either an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius you're dealing with, or this is the energy of this person who is going to uh, try to bury the hatchet with you. This is the energy of someone who is rushing back in. We do have the Sun here as well. This is the happiest card in the deck. Um, so it will most likely make you or them <laughs> or both of you hopefully a happy when this person uh, gets back to you. Um, so let's see in the second spread what the future holds for the two of you, what the, what the uh, potential outcome can be between the two of you. This is the second spread, Leo. Uh, let's see what happens between you and that person. Um, and the future, unfortunately, is not so bright, at least the immediate future. We've got the Page of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Lots of swords cards. This is all about thoughts or, you know, something that the other person wants to do or is doing. So we do have the page of ones here. This is uh, them reaching out to you. It could be uh, in the form of a text message or a phone call. They'll probably start flirting with you because uh, page of ones is, uh, you know, it's very flirtatious uh, energy here. Um, but unfortunately, I don't see you being very open to this person. All, all other cards are all about you either thinking about it, you being stuck in your own, your own head, or you are just simply walking away. You're dropping everything and walking away. That's what the uh, Five of Swords here represents. The Five of Swords could also uh, symbolize a fight. Uh, that breaks out between you and this person after they reach out to you and then you, it'll put you in the state of mind where you'll be uh, either you know taking a break from that person or you won't be even sure what to do in regards to that person. So I, I uh, thought that would have some better news for you but unfortunately this is what came out. Uh, don't let this discourage you, I'm sure there is a better suited person for you. Um, just stay tuned, <laughs> watch my other readings, hopefully you'll see something that will resonate with you as well. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.